American Buffalo is about um, the relationship between friendship and business, between loyalty, uh, the corrosive effect of money, and three underprivileged, underachieving men, one of whom owns a shop, and to supplement the income from his junk shop, they obviously do little scams on the side, and we join them in the middle of a scam. It's very funny, but very sad as well at the end, when you realize these three guys desperately long for a shot at the title for their slice of the American dream, which they think they're entitled to, but they misunderstand it, and they will probably never have it. Teach is one of the three characters. He's the character I'm playing. He's a rather sad character. If he's been given opportunities in life, he's missed them. But, it's, but he might never have had them. He, uh, he's one of the dispossessed, badly educated um, hucksters. I first came across David Mamet really through his essays, because it was standard reading when you're a drama student. Every pause, as in Pinter, is intended. Um, the rhythm of his language is very muscular, has a, a real sense of rhythm, a very pointed rhythm and muscularity, all of which he is in total control of. Well, Daniel Evans and I were at drama school together, actually. He was, uh, I think, a year or two below me. Uh, he's still a brilliant actor and singer but he's become, he's become a fantastic director. We're lucky enough to have John Goodman in this uh, play, in this production. Uh, we'll be in for a treat. It's not, I think, stretching it to say that he's achieved a sort of iconic Hollywood status as an actor, uh, uh, not least with the Coen brothers and, and others. And um, he's perfect casting. Tom Sturridge is one of our exciting young actors and he's clearly very good. What's great about Tom is he's, he's, he seems to have this little sort of film star career which is just sort of starting to blossom but he's very much a theatre actor. Um, it'll be an engaging, thought-provoking and above all I hope entertaining play for all, all generations.